The idea that this somehow undercuts jobs is absolutely a frivolous idea to present on this House time has expired. Yield back. Thank you. With Steve Pierce deciding to run for governor, an open seat is left in Congress, and with the 2018 midterms approaching fast, I got the chance to interview congressional candidate Ak Za Zo Zochitul. Oh man, I'm gonna need to find somebody who knows how to say her name. Read this name. Zakiel. Akto. Sholitel. I think you're trying to communicate me through Morse code in your blinks. Interesting. Zochitul. No. Zochitul. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know her. That's uh, that's so chill. Say that again. Uh, so chill. I think we found our guy. No, you did. Can you, can you train me in how to say your name? Okay, Peter. If you want to be able to pronounce your name, you're gonna have to train. It's gonna be high intensity, the hardest challenge you've ever had yet. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to train with me and learn how to pronounce actual T Dell's name. I accept. X. Oh. Mommy may mumble. Mommy may mumble. Zocho! 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 Mommy may mumble. Mommy may mumble. 990! 990! Blah! 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 Mommy may mumble! 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 You're ready. So cheap. So cheap. So cheap. That's the hard way. But the easy way is so cheap. So chill. That's perfect. That's the hard so way. So chill. So chill. That's perfect. Can you take a second to tell me about your platform? I grew up in this district and I think that we need to make sure we have an opportunity to reach our dreams right here in New Mexico. A lot of my friends have left the state because they didn't feel like they or their children could find the future that they wanted. And so I want to work hard to change that for all of southern New Mexico um, and make sure that we have access to the health care that we need, that we have quality education right here at home, and that there are jobs and careers of the future here in southern New Mexico. And what's your stance on gun control? So I like a lot of Southern New Mexicans who grew up in a home with guns, as a responsible gun owner, um, it's important that we follow a checklist of things to do to make sure that when guns are used as tools, we're keeping ourselves safe and the people around us. And what Congress is doing right now is not following a checklist. We're allowing loopholes in our gun laws. And so that's why I, like most gun owners, support universal background checks for um, all gun sales, as well as a judicial pro process to keep dangerous weapons out of the hands of dangerous people. All right, now we're gonna get into the questions that quite frankly I care more about. If centaurs are half human, half horse, that would make humans half centaur, correct? Sure. In that case, we're quarter horse, correct? Or half mermaid? Exactly. The same applies with mermaids and minotaurs, anything you can think of from mythological. <laughs> you know what, we may need to consult a math teacher on this, but it sounds, it sounds like a solid argument for me. She validates me. <laughs> if there's no gravity in space, then why do the ships that get destroyed in Star Wars always fall down? Um, maybe the rules of gravity are different in a galaxy far, far away? Well, now they're, they're physical laws. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> okay. Validate me here really quick. Let's <laughs> get serious. Oh William God. Shakespeare once said, all the world's a stage and all the men and women here are the players. Who is the audience in the metaphor? Who is the audience? <laughs> I think William Shakespeare was abducted by aliens, learned that they created the Earth, and have just been watching it as a game this entire time. They've been playing God with us.
They taught him the true meaning of the human experience and human nature. That's why he was able to make such good plays. And it brings up the question, which is the original? Is this the original? Is this the original? We may never know. That's quite a theory. All right. It's that time. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. I it's, thought this was going to be It's time for the lightning round. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Purple. What's your least favorite color? Clear. What's your favorite restaurant? The um, Happy Dog. What shoe size are you? Seven and a half. Thirteens. <laughs> you got me beat. Would you rather have bright blue hair or blue teeth? Blue teeth. Blue teeth, really? Oh, come on. That's a, that's a great smile. I feel like it's easier to play off blue hair, though. But that's been done. Ah, you, you, you. <laughs> Would you rather have tentacles for fingers or for eyelashes? I feel like eyelashes can get messy. Let's go fingers. Fingers? What do you see here? A butterfly. Interesting. Find the volume of a square pyramid with a height of 12 centimeters and a slanted height of 15 centimeters. I'm not even getting scratch paper for this. No. Mental. This is on the AP calculus test. Come on. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this on your AP calculus test? Because I shouldn't be doing your homework. Moving on. <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich to you? No. What? <laughs> it's, 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 it's got a... It's, it's a piece of meat in between two slices of bread. Good point. But this meat is round. Well, it's just a cylindrical sandwich. Okay. It's more, it's made for our tubes inside the body. The small intestine and large intestine, tubular. A hot dog, tubular. We may need to start talking about chewing our food a little more. No. <laughs> this, is, this is the most efficient way to intake hot dogs. They just go straight down. For Bulldog Broadcast, this has been Peter Martin.